Hello, everybody. We are here with Linda Wall for a special treat here in the doll shop. We are going to be sharing and talking about a wonderful and rare doll that Linda has been working on. Hey, Linda. Hi, how are you? I am good. We are here in the doll shop and um, let's work on this light a little bit. The uh, You have been working really hard dressing this doll. I have. And we are so excited to share this. The mother of this doll said we could share it, which is always such a wonderful thing, isn't it? It is. I was, I was thrilled when she offered it and it, it, it's really worth sharing. This doll is worth this costume, I think. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the costume which you have done. And Linda, we are so lucky to have you uh, working on our dolls in our shop all of the time. And you also teach wonderful classes and your students have been watching the progression of this doll for the last several months. Mm -hmm. Haven't you, Stephanie? <laughs> all right, we're gonna turn the camera around and look at the doll and we're gonna talk about how you got to where okay. it is. Well, uh, first of all, you have to do the research. Yes. And the research, um, as you can see, um, in my students, including Stephanie, this is the first time she got to see the face. Um, she always had a diaper on her head. The face. <laughs> Let's talk about the face. Thanks. So this exact face is shown on page, I think, 302 in the French Doll Encyclopedia. So we're gonna just go down right here so you guys can see that. This doll is by Nicolas Joliet. And the French Doll Encyclopedia right here by Francois and Danielle Thimer, which they did a wonderful presentation in the virtual doll convention. This is on page 302. This is the doll. Look at this, but you get to see it live and in person right here. What do you think about the face? For me? Yes. That's what fascinated me about this doll. I mean, when I could take the diaper off, I just kept looking at her wonderful face. And the neck, that is really, I wanted to figure out how in the world did he get that and make that work. He was one of the first people to patent this type of body in uh, 1887, I believe. Yes. Um, just, this is such a rare doll. This is such a treat, everybody. It is. And she's on a leather body. Everything was, she has, everything was intact except this one little finger. But that's, that's a nothing compared to what, her body is in mint condition underneath. Is it signed? Does there, is there a label no, on it? No, I don't believe so. I could look at my, my photos because I did have her undressed. I completely um, pressed all of her undergarments. The only thing I added was a bustle to support this under. All right, so what we're gonna do is, Linda, why don't you turn her around so we can talk about, we're gonna talk about the dress and the fashion and all the things, but we're gonna turn her around so that you guys can see this. Now, didn't your heart just skip a beat when she turned around this? This bustle, this girl is such a babe. So tell me about the fabric. The fabric is made from three um, 1880 dresses. This was um, like a, a blouse or a jacket and it's velvet. The trim, all of this was cut off of a dress to include this. And I had exactly two inches left of this trim. Mm. The rest of the trim that was on that dress, I used to make this insertion, which you can see. The It's completely lined. Let's see if I can. Just like the skirt was, with the lining with the reinforcement, with the um, seam binding that came off of the skirt. I did add braid, but it perfectly- I love the braid. It perfectly matches, and it is also antique. Perfectly matches, it picks up the burgundy, the little bit of gold, and, but she just needed something to pull everything up to her face. So, 
there what a face. face oh if you guys are tuning in give us an emoji or give us a comment on letting us know what you think about this face i'm just gonna get in so you guys can see this is such a treat look at these lips and just the extreme modeling of this doll when you see this doll it absolutely takes your breath away she is large this doll is 28 inches tall and she is just extremely wonderful when you look closely at her you can see this uh uniquely shaped throat it's supposed to pivot a little bit were you able to I never make it pivot it. okay you never tried to make it I pivot know. She has wonderful distinctive features. So when you look at her from the front, you can just see how uh, um, full her cheeks are. She is absolutely glorious. And look at these heavily lidded eyelids right there and her high domed forehead. Very, very, very distinctive features. Look at her nose. That's what Less, that nose. Look That's at a that beautiful nose. nose. Absolutely marvelous. Notice she, she has no earrings either. What? No, nope. and and her oh, ears are not about, pierced either. They are. They're they're pierced right there. But I don't. No, aren't they're they? not. No, those aren't. Her ears are not I'm pierced. pierced. I mean, look at these pale outlined nope. lips. No, they're not pierced. No, look at these lips. Look at that. This is from 1867. Everybody absolutely wonderful i believe and other experts believe that this was likely a 1867 paris international um exposition model which they a lot of times had wonderful dolls especially the jumeaux the exposition jumeaux are my favorite dolls in the whole world but this is just so so special so let's talk about the history behind the costume and how you arrived at what she should be wearing. Well, basically I had to find fabrics that I wanted to use. And when I found the, the three piece, the garments, then I had to start going through all the books. You mm -hmm. know, everybody has to have a library. And this was the one I came up with and it was only I think three years later, which would be appropriate because they always didn't put them in that time period. You know, it might be a couple of years later. So this is what I came up with. And by judging, I've, you know, from an adult, I did the proportions for the skirt. Same with, and when mm. I first looked at her, I thought that's too big, but no, when I compared the proportions, I think they're appropriate. It's appropriate. <laughs> Linda, she's amazing. I think she's really pretty. Congratulations on all of your Thank hard you. work on this doll. You should feel incredibly proud. I know you poured your heart and soul into getting her. And she is just ready to rumble, everybody. You can see this wonderful bustle. I don't know if you can see it on the other side when I turn it, but so fabulous. Yes. I mean, yes. We're screaming. Yeah, she's got wonderful. Let's take a look at the. I have tied undergarments. Her. Yeah, she's yeah. tied in. Because she, she is tied likes in. To slide down. She likes to be. Oh, well, they do, and they do. And she's also tied in to her stand. I always tie large dolls into their stand. I just want to pull this up so you guys can just see this face. Yeah. Look at that. exquisite absolutely amazing wonderful all of the things it is such a it is so fun to be able to show it up close so you guys can also see it and just experience the doll absolutely marvelous now linda you are wearing a t-shirt that we happen to have in the virtual convention gift shop it says get a real job and quit playing with dolls they have made you a crazy person true <laughs> Except that you work, you work, this is your real job, but they have made us all crazy people, quote unquote. Kathy Turner, somebody said this to her for real, and she made t-shirts out of them for the virtual gift shop. And they are so fun, aren't they? They are so fun. And this was a gift from a very dear friend. And I just love it. It's yeah. so appropriate because even my son will say, you know, when somebody asks him, what's your mom doing? Oh, she's still playing with dolls. 
Yeah, and still. Still we playing all are. with dolls. I'm still, and I, I play with them every day. Yeah, we all play with them every day. It's it's a wonderful way to, to live. Oh, and Stephanie, you're, you're watching out on our Murr so he doesn't get too carried away. Stanley's over there playing dolls. You know, we're playing dolls, but this is a real thing. It's, it's wonderful to be able to do this for our living and to be sharing it with you guys. So Linda, oops, let me turn that around. This is exceptional. I am so proud of you. What Thank a you. treat to share her with everybody. She is going to be, Stanley's going to pack her up and she is going to go off to her new mother today and she will just be on her way. She is really excited. I think the only thing she needs is a bonnet, which I think the new mother's going to arrange for her. That's already been arranged. So yes, she gets girl. Yes, girl. <laughs> She's so great. I wish I had this outfit for me. To okay. wear. <laughs> I'm glad I Can you make me a bunch of little ones? I'm going to need a bunch of little ones for okay. all of our 14 and 15 inch fashions. Oh, that could be a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, she's wonderful. Okay. If you guys loved seeing this, share the video. This is the only doll we're going to be sharing in this video because she needs to just stand alone and have her moment and and visit you guys so it's really wonderful uh later we are going to be showing you how we are going to be patching the open holes on our wonderful little brew right here there's a couple patches that the doll needs on the leather body and we're going to show you how we do that and then we are also going to be showing you a little bit of what we got going on with a couple of our babies and stephanie just cleaned this uh, sweet brew. She has some kind of repair on her hands, so we're going to figure out what's going on there and kind of diagnose what's happening there and see what we can do. But we're working on her. So we've got all kinds of fun things. We are doing our feeds today uh, when we usually do them on Thursdays and Fridays because we are not going to be doing them on Thursday because we have, um, you're doing a, an event, Linda, that you've been working really hard on. What's your event on Saturday? Uh, it's a Lunch and Learn. Yes. At the Bennett Community Center. And it's a UFDC event. But um, one of our benefits is um, we sponsor a um, doll it's called dogs for dolls for dogs for vets yes and anything that somebody had given me when i was a rd that they were going to give away that was doll related mm -hmm. i um, started packaging up people purchase because some of our throwaways people want and this way it saves people for you know for us for things that we want but it also benefits a dog for a veteran yes and um we, just by this one little benefit, we have one-tenth of a dog purchased, and I'm hoping that we can get uh, one-fifth. Well, these dogs are like $30,000 yeah, to, to train in 20000 They're $20,000, so. and Kevin will be there, hopefully, but if not, we will show you a veteran that just received a dog uh, two weeks ago yeah. on a weekend, and it was really... Um, tear jerking it is tear jerking and i went to the one last year i was a speaker at that i will be at the event on saturday <laughs> um, our shop loves to donate dolls because we get so many dolls that um are dolls that we can't necessarily put in our shop but we but we get from the public and we say hey i will get this to a great home and we get so many dolls donated to us and then we usually give them to you for your mm -hmm. event and you it's do. just so great Yes, so. and it's great. And I have three people that are needing to donate. So hopefully we can sell everything out this week and yeah. so we can get new merchandise. Exactly. So we won't be going live here in the shop with Linda on Thursday or Friday because she's going to be getting ready for her event. But we're doing some fun stuff today. And I will be with Paul at the Lunch and Learn. We're also going to bring my mom. So it should be a fun day. It will. We're excited. Yeah. So that'll be that'll be great. And Ruby Red Galleria is going to bring a bunch of dolls for sale, which we're going to be listing some of those as well. So we're going to bring it to you. It's going to yeah. be fun for all of our virtual viewers. So let's get one more view of our girl of the hour before we sign off here. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this wonderful special doll. And thank you to her new mother who has allowed us to film. We don't, anything that we film, we either own or we have permission to be filming it. And it is 
the best thing you can do when you have something wonderful is to help educate others and to share it with the world. So um, that's, that's one of the wonderful things about having something wonderful, sharing it. I was just looking down a little bit to see the shoulder plate. She is just in fabulous. Shoulder plate goes really All the way, way down. down. Wow. So it's neat. Fantabulous. Okay, we're going to be back with something other later today, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much, Linda. Good You're job. All right. Bye, everybody.